I'm gonna start on the next phase on something I wanna do on the inside of the dome. So this is the start of what I'm calling our floating loft or our suspended loft and uh, I'm very excited. I pity the fool that don't build with earth bags. But check this out y'all, check this out. Woo! Dang! So uh, we'll see, we'll see how this turns out. What's up green setters, welcome back. You can see all around me, it is a chilly, cloudy day out here. It's been chilly and cloudy now for days, but according to the weather, a big storm could be rolling in. We could be getting rain any minute now, and it could last through till tomorrow evening. Kind of exciting, we're definitely gonna need the water, but if you caught our last video, you know we just took those forms out of the house. Now we kinda need to get something in place, or I kinda wanna get something in place, just so, we don't get too much water on the inside. I don't know in which direction these uh, winds will be blowing the rain and everything like that. So uh, I gotta get everything secured for the rain. We still got some tools out. I gotta get these ladders and shovels put away. But more importantly, I need to take care of this. I have all these platforms and that ladder up on top. Now we're probably not gonna need these things for a while. So we figure might as well just take them down. The last time I had platforms over the dome, it really collected water, funneled it down to the sides of the dome, and washed away some of the cob. Once I took those platforms off, there weren't any issues with rain melting the cob away. But those uh, platforms can really do a number, just because it collects and funnels so much water into certain areas. So I'm gonna get up here, I'm gonna get those down because the rain could be coming shortly and it could be coming any minute <laughs> there's a lot to do well the platforms easy up easy down that didn't take too long but there's still a bunch more to do i got to get these holes plugged up there's a lot of wood inside there and i want to try and protect as much of it as i can one thing i'm going to do is start by placing this osb back where it was that way i can put something over here to protect the, the gothic arch opening I also got this extension cord laying outside that we were using for the lift. We probably won't need this for a while either, so time to put this back in a safe place. Don't want that getting rained in. Oh, I'm not even sure how much of this you'll be able to see. Just basically using the outside shell of the gothic arch, putting that back up. And then I'll use some of those brackets that I took off to kind of hold it in place. Now I actually was going to dismantle this form to put that in the earth bag opening. Crew, what you doing, buddy? Hey. <laughs> but then my eye caught this tarp over here and I'm thinking, you know, it's a fairly small space. Maybe I'll just shove this tarp in the hole. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to keep water from the inside of the dome, getting into any of this wood or anything like that. And I think that should be more than sufficient. You know, I actually think that might do quite nicely. We'll see how it holds up. Now as for the doorway, I don't think there's much I can do for that. If we do end up getting rain in from the east, I might just have to deal with it. It might get a little wet on the inside. I got another tarp in there. Maybe I can just kind of place it kind of more over toward the opening. We'll see how it goes. Whew, wind's picking up. All right, I'd say we got things buttoned up. Got things put away. I think we're secure. Now I'm gonna get inside. I'm gonna bring crew inside because He's hungry for lunch. He's been barking at me for a while now. But uh, let's see, let's see how the storm turns out. We should be getting a decent amount of rain. You know, a half inch of rain probably isn't much to uh, most of the areas in this country, but over here it's uh, it's kind of a big deal. So uh, we'll see, we'll see how this turns out. Crew, you ready to go inside? You ready to get some lunch? Come on, let's get some lunch. It's starting to rain a little bit, starting to get a little bit of a drizzle. Hopefully we get more, a little bit more than a drizzle. <laughs> but uh, man, it is beautiful out here. Yeah, uh, we get a lot of sunny days and I'll take the cloudy ones every once in a while, especially if it brings us some rain. <laughs> as long as I'm out here braving the cold, let's see where the batteries are at. <laughs> I did just have the hot water on taking a shower, so. <laughs> oh, nice, 49 volts, that's not bad at all. 
I'll take that. That's just a little dip in the batteries. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Man, the coyotes are out. They probably don't care for the uh, the chill in the air and the uh, rain either. <laughs> They're gonna have to find their shelter someplace else. Hey crew, you don't want to sit outside this morning? You didn't even want to go for your walk. It's raining y'all, ask and you shall receive. Yesterday we hardly got anything, but uh, it started raining last night and it is still coming down. But check this out y'all, check this out. <laughs> That's right, we're overflowing again y'all. We actually got a decent amount of water already. No wonder why the tanks are overflowing. Woo! Dang! We almost got two inches of rain. I didn't realize it was coming down that heavy. Wow. Yeah, we're getting a decent amount of water and uh, just from the shed there, that uh, that small that small IBC tote's almost half full. Not bad. <laughs> I'll grab the umbrella. Maybe we'll be okay with that. The benefits of dog owning. I'm over here, let's check out the dome. Let's see how the dome has held up. And so far it looks really good, but I haven't made my way all the way around yet. So let's just kind of get a feel for it. See what's happening. Oh, geez. Uh, I can see that <laughs> my board there didn't hold up. So we'll see if we got any rain inside there. But otherwise, everything is looking good. My biggest fear, was actually near the top of the dome and everything is looking really good so far. Nothing came off anywhere on the dome. <laughs> See on the inside, yeah. So we got a little bit of rain inside the dome, but it's just a little bit right near the entrance. But uh, other than that, it's looking nice and dry, even in the spot where the Gothic arch fell over. <laughs> well, it looks like there's a break in the rain. And while there's a little break in the rain, I'm gonna get out here and do some work. I'm gonna start on the next phase on something I wanna do on the inside of the dome and that's get rid of the post that's holding up the loft or kind of supporting the loft a bit. I got plans on that so I'm eager to kind of get started with that. I'm gonna start by prepping this big old piece of wood right here. All right, it's looking good y'all. Now while the oil is soaking into this board, I can start on the next part of the project. Well, the skies were clearing up. It looks like we were done with the rain and now it's come back. I won't complain. Uh, just a light drizzle. But hey, if we get a little bit more water, that'll be good. I'll take every drop I can. But even though it's raining, I'm gonna do some work inside the dome. I can do that now and I won't get rained on. All right, right now this place is kind of a mess. I mean, if you caught our last video, you know we took down the forms and all of our forms are sitting inside of here. In order for me to work around here, I'm gonna to need to move some stuff around, move things off to the edges, so I'm gonna get busy. I'm gonna actually uh, try and organize and uh, maneuver some things around here. <laughs> Don't tell Jess, I got a reputation to uphold. Inspector Crusoe is here, and he is not happy about the mess. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, I'm working to get this cleaned up. I'll have it tip top in no time, sir. Oh, 
A little cleanup around here didn't take too long at all. Now I'm gonna remove this table. I already got the winch off of this ladder. And then I gotta get this ladder out of here. Not sure where I'm going with it, but it's gotta come out. <laughs> I don't really wanna pull the boards out to lower this thing. I got boards over here. Maybe I can just carry it out as is. Actually, with the door form removed, this might not be much of a challenge. <laughs> That's how to do it. So this is the start of what I'm calling our floating loft or our suspended loft. And uh, I'm very excited because technically I kind of had this idea before to do something like this, but then I decided maybe go with a post, but now I'm deciding to go back to the floating loft. And I think this will be cool. I think this will work out really nicely. I'm very excited to try this out. But basically this post is going away and it'll actually be supported from above. So it should be very cool. Okay, so basically I'm gonna transition from kind of having these separated and supported by this post to being completely suspended from the air. So what I'm first gonna do is take out these two lag bolts. Now as a interim precautionary measure, I'm gonna put this bracket on. Some people might be questioning why I'm using screws instead of nails. Don't do that. <laughs> now uh, this is only a temporary measure anyway while I do some other things. But I will leave it in here as just a little extra support because why not? But now I gotta take these leg screws off so it's for a bit, it'll only be supported by a number of screws and this. Then I'm gonna place that massive uh, board right across here to, to act as a support. So look at the size of the hardware I got. So I'll basically be putting six of these all across this board. I think that's gonna tie in this board to the loft really nicely. I'm getting the manglet all over me and that's gonna provide a lot of support. What I'm trying to do is get as much support right in that middle as I can. Ultimately, I think that's gonna be the weakest spot. So once I get this board tied in, then we'll be ready for the next step. It's gonna be crazy. So for the last part of this project, I got some heavy duty chains, y'all. This is gonna be exciting. I pity the fool that don't build with earth bags. Ah! <laughs> what do you think of my gold chains, y'all? Oh! See, you thought we were poor because we were building with earth bags. But look at these chains. Oh! Want to get out there. Yeah. So my idea is to take these massive chains, wrap it around our beams up here, back down, wrap it around the loft, and then attach it to itself. So it'll actually be supported from these beams up here. Now if I didn't do this section in two parts, I might only have just needed one chain. But two will be good, two will be good. I think uh, I can go with the nickname Two Chains. Uh, isn't it a rapper? <laughs> See, Jess, there's probably lots of things you can use these for. You can even use this to uh, build an upper body strength while you're up here. <laughs> Sometimes you think these projects are going to be quick and then you get to doing it and you're making some adjustments. Always something. It's going to take a little bit longer than anticipated but just made some suggestions. 
I think it's a good idea. We'll get this thing looking real nice. First of all, these hooks, they don't fit on the chain links. So there's really no reason for these hooks to be on there. I'm going to remove these hooks and just keep it by the uh, extra links that I put on. Then we can use those hooks for something else. Ooh, that's nice. nice. Now to finish it up, I got these little pieces right here to kind of lock onto the chain. I added the other two clamps to the middle of the chain. So we got something securing kind of like toward the bottom of the chain, toward the middle of the chain, and then even towards the top. I think it's looking real good and secure. All right, here's the big moment. You nervous, Jess? A little bit. All right, ready? Ready. <laughs> Coming at you. What do you think, Jess? Oh! <laughs> We're standing uh, basically right where that post was, right in the center of uh, the dome. Uh, man, well, how do you, what do you think? Spacious, I like this. When I first thought of putting the post in, I was thinking, ah, uh, maybe it's not gonna be too intrusive. I don't think it would have been too bad, but it, it definitely, it definitely changes the space. That one little post really affected it a lot, and I, I am loving how this looks. It's just even that much more spacious. It's actually kind of an amalgamation of something I wanted to do right in the beginning, but we weren't sure how to make it work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with the chains coming down, we weren't sure like how we wanted to do that. But then I kind of figured that out a little bit later. But, you know, obviously this would be better had we planned it right from the get-go. I think, you know, it'd be a lot sturdier if I put in like a couple of boards spanning the whole distance rather than having a, a break in the middle. But um, I think this will do. And, you know, we'll take these lessons learned over when we do the next dome. So this is exciting. Obviously the bottle windows are still coming up, which uh, you are kind of spearheading as far as the design work. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be the uh, sort of like maker of the bottle bricks. Meanwhile, I still have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna be cobbing up that south window, getting that firmly in place. I think this is a cool opportunity. I think I'm ready now to kind of cut into the floorboards here and uh, see how everything is holding up down below. Ooh, that should be exciting. I'm really excited about that. So stay tuned for that. And we got some cold temps coming up too. So I kind of want to do a test and see what the temperatures are like down overnight. We're going to have a really cold night, probably down below 20 degrees. So. <sighs> It'll be interesting to see how that holds up. Yeah, maybe it'll give us kind of an indication of what it might be like uh, when we're living in here. I don't have too high of expectations because, you know, everything's open here, you know. Yeah. So it's gonna it gets cold inside here. Yeah. So we'll see. All right, y'all. Very exciting times. I am loving this space more and more. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you on that next video. Bye.